Hello YouTube, my name is Hasnan and you're watching Trending Coach. Now in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna make a YouTube app uh, which will just read all the uh, playlists created by some channel or some user and we will display all the playlist and we will play all those videos present inside the playlist. Now the reason I'm making this video is because uh, one of my subscriber, Maddie Hanna, has just uh, requested me to create a video on this particular topic that just we, we can uh, just read all the uh, playlist created by some user or by some uh, channel and we can just uh, differentiate all the uh, chan uh, I mean all the playlist created by the uh, user or a channel so basically in this video I'm going to show you a demo over here and, or what we're gonna create in this video is uh, I have just created two playlists on my channel and here are these two playlists. Now if I uh, click on the play button, uh, it will just gonna list all the uh, data or all the uh, videos available inside my playlist which I have created recently and it will display and you can just play all those videos directly. Hello, so uh, this is uh, what we're gonna is create right now in this uh, tutorial and I strongly recommend you to just watch all these three or four videos on how to use YouTube API if you will not watch those videos and if you will if you're watching this video first then uh, I think you're not able to understand or you're not going to know what exactly is happening in this video so I recommend you to just go and start uh, first video uh, just watch three uh, four videos and then come back to this video and just learn how to uh, retry the playlist so let's get started let's dive into the coding okay so i hope uh, you have watched all four videos and uh, right now we will start coding how to retry the playlist now i hope you are ready with your home.ts file and all those stuff now in your home.ts file what you have to do is uh, go inside the constructor and inside the URL you're gonna modify your URL instead of searching you're gonna retry the playlist right so what you're gonna do over here is you're gonna just type a playlist right over here play playlists and uh, once you save the data it will just retrieve the playlist available on this particular channel right over here so this is the channel id which i have provided and basically this this channel id is, is mine and i'm using this channel id and i will be getting all the playlist available in my uh in my uh channel so if you if you will take a look on home.html then it's same which you have created before and the mistake here like if we, we are going to get the error in this uh, home.html file if you are retrieving the particular um, uh, I mean if you are retrieving the playlist so uh, to remove that error I'll just show you what error you will be having see uh, I'm getting the playlist I have created two playlists on my channel and I'm getting the title but here I just uh, I'm getting the iframe according to our coding I'm just getting an iframe over here I don't need iframe I just need the thumbnails over there of my playlist so I'll just make a comment right over here and I'll just uh, use the image tag okay and here here it is I have just shown you how to display the image and uh, here we go with the image now once I'll save this and I'll just take a, take a look on the output so this is how we can just uh, retrieve the uh, thumbnails of the um, playlist in the same way which I have shown you in my third or second video I don't remember that okay so uh, if you will get the error just uh, use this trick put the iframe inside the command use the image and just retrieve your thumbnail with the help of um, source tag okay so here we go uh, we got an output here now see I'm getting the output I'm just having two playlists right over here getting the two array over here uh, let's take a look on the array now uh, can you see an ID over here now uh, what happened what should happen now is 
uh, if I click on this playlist okay uh, I should take this playlist ID and with the help of this playlist ID I'm going to retrieve all the videos present inside this playlist so we will create one button and we will pass uh, the parameter to the next page and we will retrieve the uh, available videos inside this particular playlist okay so to do that uh, just open up your uh, Visual Studio code and go ahead and create a button and it should be of ion ion button okay and it will be having one click event and I will call that event as now okay and now will be accepting one parameter I will just tell you what it is and I'll just say a play now can you uh, can you just take a look over here uh, this is the parameter we should pass uh, the ID present inside the uh, items or the yeah items so we should write as item dot uh, I guess para no uh, ID yeah so this will pass uh, this particular um, uh, playlist ID to the home.html and we will be navigated to the different page now I hope you know uh, like how to add the um, page I have created the page with the help of ionic G add page and I have written this now function right over here okay uh, so I'll just pass this as a parameter that is uh, item dot ID and uh, uh, I'll just show you in my home dot ts file see uh, now I have created one page with the help of uh, ionic G um, uh, generate page and uh, so this is the command I hope you know how to generate the page and all those stuff and import this page into your uh, app.modular.ts file right over here then right inside the uh, declaration and the uh, entry component after doing that what you have to do is uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, inside your home.ts file import the same page okay and uh, I have created the now function that will be receiving the ID of the playlist and this dot now controller dot push this page along with this video ID so I'm just creating a JSON object over here and it will be having the video ID will be having the ID which I will be receiving as a parameter right over here so let's go just save the file we'll just save the file and take a look on the output that we are getting or we are just getting a navigated or not now uh, we are almost done with the home.html file okay now uh, just close your home.html file and uh, let's take a look okay okay so here we go with the play button I'm going to click the play button and here we go we are uh, re re redirected to the next page and uh, I have done one mistake but I paused the video and I got the error so I just paused the video and I just fixed that I uh, don't use now function I don't know something keyword or something is there so it's it was giving me an error just use now me function right in your home.html file to now me and you're going to navigate you're going to use the item.id to get the uh, uh, particular playlist ID now once you're done with that what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna open the playlist.ts file and inside your playlist.ts file um, uh, we're gonna retrieve the uh, parameter which we have passed that is the playlist ID uh, and to do that just you just use the playlist ID is of type any okay and uh, inside your constructor use uh, nav params nav params dot get what was the name of the parameter that is that was in video ID right um, I guess video video ID okay let's check once that is video ID uh, yeah that is video ID okay so uh, we're gonna save this video ID inside the um, uh, playlist playlist so just use um, this dot playlist equals to nevprams dot get video ID so we got the video ID inside the playlist 
Now, in this, what we have to, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy and paste all the uh, whole, all the code of home.ts file. So just go ahead and copy all the variables which we have created right over here and just paste it inside the playlist.ts uh, file right over here and again go to the home.ts file copy all the things which you have written in the constructor okay and paste it into your into the playlist right over here okay now uh, we will be getting the HTTP error and to resolve that um, you're going to import the HTTP stuff and this to RJ, RxJS. Just go ahead and paste there. Now, now uh, we're gonna just um, modify our URL. And what we're going to do is we need we don't need playlist now. We need uh, the playlist items present inside it. So we will just type the playlist items. And inside the playlist items, uh, we're gonna embed one thing into our URL is. Uh, um, just remove this uh, queue and instead of that uh, just type um, playlist ID because on the base of playlist ID uh, we are going to uh, fetch the things right over here so uh, and uh, I'm getting the error in HTTP. Okay, I should inject into the constructor. If you're if you're having the same, just uh, inject it into the constructor. Public uh, HTTP of type HTTP. Okay. Now, uh, once you modify the you once you modify your URL and uh, once you will use this and uh, make sure your playlist id should be of type string not any because we are passing that into the constructor and if you will do the same uh, then it will give error so make sure you're going to use string right over here and modify your uh, url anyhow you're going to get the url inside the description okay so you can get the url and the main thing is url if, if url is wrong then nothing is going to be uh, worked so I think uh, we done with this and playlist items right over here instead of playlist and one more thing to embed into the search query is um, playlist ID. So uh, let's go ahead and check whether our output is working or not. Okay so can you see here is the output. I got all the four videos which are present inside the playlist. Uh, I'm going to navigate it back and I'm going to uh, check the next playlist right over here here is I got all the videos so uh, that was the uh, great uh, okay now uh, we got the output but the problem is um, how to um, run that particular output now how to uh, run that video we are just getting the uh, I think I mean we are just getting the uh, PNG image or a thumbnail right over here how to uh, run this video right over here is the simple step as I have shown you in the previous video of my previous tutorials uh, all that four videos the first four videos from from that I think second or third video I have just shown you how to uh, run that particular um, video right away there uh, in the front so you're going to remove the image okay and you're going to embed that particular video into the iframe so how to get the video ID from this particular uh, list so just go ahead and open we have just already consoled that so inside the snippet okay uh, inside the snippet uh, inside the resource ID you're going to get the video ID so with the help of video ID you can just play the video and uh, giving the I inside the iframe you can so we, what we're going to do is uh, we, we are going to just uh, make an iframe and the source for that iframe will be like uh, items.snippad.resourceid.videoid so this will make our um, video to be run in the instead of uh, displaying the image so we will just command that right over here and uh, after commanding it 
I'm sorry. Once uh, you remove the command, uh, I mean, once you command it, just remove the command from the iframe and what here you're going to write is item dot uh, snippet dot, I guess, something resource ID, uh, just over here, snippet dot resource ID. Yeah, correct. Resource ID dot video ID right over here. Can you see? video id um okay so okay and i want to tell you that i have created the pipe why i have created the pipe you should know because i have just tell, told you all those stuff in the previous video on first four video series so uh here is the pipe basically pipe will, uh, will be just receiving the value which we are passing right there as a, a video id and it will be uh, something it will be bypassing the security trust URL and return, returning the trusted or secured URL and uh, we will be getting the uh, video ID as a trusted URL. So uh, this, this is the thing we have to do if you want to run the video inside your uh, app. So here we go, play and bam, we are up with the videos right over here okay if i just click on the play and it will it will going to play the here we go hello youtube uh, my name so, is Asnain and i'm back with a new video that's it for this video i hope you liked all the series of using youtube api now this is not the limit you know if you want to create your own app like uh if you want to retry the commands from the youtube uh, if you want to uh, retry the subscriber of a particular channel, if you want to retry the uh, uh, commands as well as the um, views of that particular video, you can do that with the help of API. What you need to do is just get on the Google and search for that. You're going to get that, all the stuff from the Google itself. So I hope you like this video. Uh, um, if you get the error, uh, just reach me on the Facebook or uh, in the command. I'll try to help out. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll just try to uh, figure out your uh, errors. And goodbye for now. I'll meet you in my next video. Take care. Hash keep coding.